Diaz in his United States debut has been impressive. But certainly not overwhelming, perhaps not winning this fight, but hanging tough with a big prospect. And that could have hurt Diaz. Nice left hand from Guerrero. Actually, it didn't seem to. And Diaz trying to tie up Guerrero at times, but now he's back in rhythm. He's got to work off the jab. Now Guerrero opening up, and how interesting, Steve. Talk about heightened drama. John Bray says you need a KO to win to Robert Guerrero. And I agree. I have uh, Diaz ahead two points with two rounds to go. Wow. What's up? No, no, no. no. The point is, Guerrero's got to gamble a little bit. Diaz isn't hurting him. He's not running into some kind of shots that are really Stop. stonewalling him. So he's really got to go for it, as they said. Put six punches together. Easier said than done here in the 11th heat. Guerrero has been 12 before. We know Diaz has Stop. repeatedly. He's got more experience. Diaz 12 one time, actually. He has figured out how to fight this side part well. Neutralized. Not the back of the head. Let's go. A lot of what Guerrero's done best. Guerrero's fighting angry right now, and he's effective doing it. It's like uh, it's like Diaz took something from him, and I think what Diaz might be taking from him is Stop. his reputation. Is a gut check for Robert Stop. Guerrero. Let's go, gentlemen. Spot. He hasn't been pushed around, but he's getting on box in several of these rounds. He's bruised under both eyes. Let go. Here we go. Here we go. Let go. Let go. Very Let go. slippery, but thinking defense more now than he is offense. Bad idea, huh? Oh. Holding and hitting Stop. right with that. Yeah, box. Go low. Let's go. I wouldn't blame Diaz for that. Wow, he's saying this is the best round in quite a while, Nick. Both guys firing out of the clinches. Last, last time on Showbox, we saw Marco Santos get beat. He was undefeated. Is it happening again? Did he get matched tough on Showbox? We didn't know how tough Diaz was. Oh, not at all. Stop! Stop! Here we go. Box. Box. Stop! Here we go. Guerrero mm. unable to really find the target. No, 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 moving no, no. all the time, at Diaz. Spots. But is he doing enough offensively? Little right hand pops Guerrero. Just gets him off his wheels. You know, it makes him have to restart like that. As precious seconds slice off the clock. We close in on one round to go here in Lamore, California. Good round for Guerrero. Diaz spent too much time killing time this round, holding, playing defense, Guerrero's round. Which would pull him to within Stop. points of that Stop. Here we go. Stop. He beat this guy out of there. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. I want you to give me power drills for three minutes. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. That's too bad. You gotta do everything that you can. Everything right here. Oh yeah. For the cheer me. Come on, you gotta do it. Come on. You gotta do all the punches. You do whatever you have to do. You gotta win this round. You gotta win the round. Be right up on him. Wherever he goes, be right up on him. Let him lay your hands above. Let's do this. Good job, Jimmy. All right, with more, I always said basically, hey, you got to do whatever you got to do. <laughs> Why throw 15 things at Don Gamaliel Diaz? Whatever it takes is stop, obviously stop. the go. dual message here. They know it is close. We know it should be able to be a go either way. Boy, a lot of energy from both guys here because they understand the urgency and what's at stake here with three minutes to go. Okay, Nick, maybe Guerrero will become the fighter we think he can. Maybe he won't. But if he does become a world champion someday, you'll point to this fight as the fight where he became a real fighter, a real 10, 12 round fighter. Stop. And maybe this no, no, particular no, no, no. round. Let's go. Bunch of hands. Let's go. Start boxing. Let's go. Well, let the fury overcome 
some of the fatigue that's starting to look. This is a very close fight. Here's the point deduction for a uh, uh, punch behind the head. Guerrero bent over there. I just feel that at that point in the fight, given how chippy they were on the inside, it was a little unfair for the referee to take a point away. And part of it was frustration. Guerrero had uh, Diaz's left arm wrapped up, so he was trying to free himself and punch with his only free hand. No excuses there, though. It was a debatable call. I'd hate to have it be the difference in the fight. Yeah, I agree. The, the only, there it is again, and then that's critical. It, the only score I would have a problem with by the judges is one that's one-sided. You know, a point or two either would no problem with. Oh, that would bother me. <laughs> Did Robert Guerrero get ahead of himself, you know, talking about title fights next year, I'm talking major, ready to yeah. uh, Juan Manuel Marquez or Humberto Soto or Injun Chi, was he ready for Gamaliel Diaz, uh, this man? One guy had a rep coming into the fight, the other didn't, shows you what reps it were. And now they shake hands, both knew they were in a fight that could go either way, wait is over. Jimmy Lennon Jr. as the winner now.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Marty Salmon scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Gamaliel Diaz. Judge at ringside, Ed Kugler scores about 115 to 112 in favor of Robert Guerrero. Judge at ringside, Marshall Walker scores about 115 to 112 in favor of the winner and the new NABF featherweight champion, Gamaliel Platano. Wow, dreams really do die hard. And it happened virtually for Robert Guerrero in his backyard. Robert Guerrero said he had prepared better for this fight than all of his others. Yet shot down with a split decision loss to this guy, Gamaliel Diaz. Good sportsmanship on both 